give just a little bit of background about you and um, where where your bees are. It sounds like you've got an awful lot of them in uh, downtown Charlotte. Um, I really love the science and the behavior aspects of the bees. I just think they're so fascinating. Um, and I, I love to manipulate them and, and not that's not a bad word. That's just a, you know, see, see what stimulus reacts, how do, how do they react to the various stimuli? So I love the, the, the science of it. Um, maybe you could give kind of a high level summary of, of what you're going to talk to us about in early March. Well, spring is by far the beekeeper's most exciting time. It's when everything is happening all at one time and managing swarms and making honey go together because if you don't do one, you can't do the other. So, and, and in an urban area, managing swarms is even more important because you are going to freak out your neighbors if you let your swarms get away. And not only will they be freaked out by bees hanging in the tree, but they'll be angry with bees in their attic. So one thing that if you had to, if somebody leaves your presentation that you want them to remember after that. Study the biology of the bee. The bee biology is absolutely the basis for everything we do. And if you understand what the bees are all about, what they're trying to do at any given time, then you can work with them. And I can, I can again, manipulate, there's that word again, I can manipulate them to achieve their goals in a way that's good for me.